thought I'd take a few minutes and tell you how a few things that I seen this week changed my perspective, how I see things out on Lake Gunnarsville. I was out working, fishing, took a friend of mine, fishing, visit a little bit, had some work guys come in through 13 fishing and working, I'm out there fishing. So a lot of times I get caught up, I get this tunnel vision, that I, like it's, it's just work. And then it hit me folks, so something happened the other night at the boat ramp coming in and it changed how I feel. Like it, it changed me, it checked me. It took the check and put by me like, don't be a prick, G. <laughs> be thankful for what you got. Always remember that. And here's what I'm talking about. Really hot this week, been out fishing. I come in this evening and I, and I come in at, at All Reds boat ramp. For you guys living right here, you know where that's at. I'm running in and I see my boy. I see my boy, and I seen him a bunch last year, and I've seen him a bunch this year. He's on the public, he's at, at the public fishing pier, right at the end of All Reds boat ramp. Just a little, not even a wide pier. He's sitting out there on it, but he's in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair. I see him there a lot of mornings and some evenings. When I come in the other evening, it's Friday. I've been working all week. I'm thinking, man, I've done good. I'm tired. And then around to that corner, and the good Lord reached down and just slapped me right in the face and said, don't be ungrateful. Don't be, don't be thinking you've done something special because you worked a week. Don't think you deserve a pat on the back because you worked a week. Cause see, let me tell you what I saw. I seen my boy sitting there in his wheelchair. I don't know his name, never talked to the man, but I seen him a bunch last year and I seen him this year and he rolls down there and he fishes off the end of this pier in a wheelchair. It's two foot deep everywhere, grass everywhere. Think about that. Every day, he's casting left and right and left and right. I've been running around in a 921 Phoenix Elite 2 idling. Graphs this big. I got hummingbirds that can see the moon. I got a Garmin live scope that tells me what's out in front of me. He can see what's out in front of him. Grass and not many fish. But he come there a lot and fishes with what? Hope the hope that he's gonna catch one. So when I pulled up the ramp, I thought, man, that, that's weighing on me. And then it really hit me. And then the good Lord slapped me with his left hand. And he said, look here, let me show you something. So I pull up and I drop Ricky off at the ramp. And there's this young man, I'm gonna say 10 to 12 years old. His father who went to get the boat, looked like he might've had a sister in the boat with him. Trolling motors down and he, he's casting a pink floating wire right at the boat ramp. Now I'm talking, we tied up at that little old bitty pier and the boat ramp's right there. Boat's coming in and out, water muddy, everything's turned up. He's casting that floating worm like it's the last cast of his life. And he's working it, folks. He's working it. You think that he worried about that he ain't gonna get no bite. But see, in his heart, he thought, this is the cast. This is the cast. And it was at that moment that it, everything for me pivoted last week and I started seeing it again. And this happens to me quite often because I was thinking, that's why I started. That's why I started. See that passion that kid had? He didn't care if the odds of him getting a bite was slim to none. He didn't care. He said, I got a few more casts before my dad gets a truck in the water. And I'm gonna work this pink floating worm, look like a little zoom trick worm. He just twitch 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 it around. And I look over here, the sun's setting and there's my boy on the pier. And he's throwing that damn rod and reel left and right. And he's sitting in the wheelchair. You think that if somebody come down there and told him he wasn't gonna catch none, he's gonna go home? He didn't care. See, he just wanted to fish. This young man just wanted to make another cast. This older man is just glad he got to make a cast. So then it hit me. I should never be ungrateful. I'm sitting in a boat that's 85, 90 grand. I've been all over this lake. Whew, it's hot, gee. Really? Give it up, folks. That's the minute that I realized there's something about fishing that makes the best of you come out. And when I looked at these two guys, I said, they have hope. That's the first thing they got. They got hope. They hope to get a bite. But they have the determination that most people don't have. That's the question I got for you. If you knew you had to fish the same spot every day, and you knew that the temperature wasn't right, and you knew that they wasn't going to bite, would you still go? Would you still go? He does. The young man did. He throw that flow worm. He was throwing it like something was the last cast of his life. So to you two, y'all don't know. Y'all put the fire back in G-Man. When I'm hot and sweaty and dehydrated, 
when I loaded that boat up, I had a new attitude. When I backed that boat in, I said, from now on, I want the determination of that man at the ramp and that man at the pier. Because the odds was against them, but they didn't quit casting. So that, I would say thank you guys. You taught me a valuable lesson.